Hey there everyone, Mark here from Promevo, your Google Premier partner, and we're back with another episode as your digital Google Glosser. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos. On today's episode, we're talking about how you can give your Chromebook a power wash. No, not that kind of wash. Whether it's due to a change of ownership of the device or you just want your Chromebook to feel factory fresh, one of the many great features of Chrome OS is the ability to power wash. With power wash, you as a Chrome OS user have two easy ways to factory reset your device, ensuring all information and files are erased from the Chromebook's hard drive. Before we give you the rundown, we would like to note that the Google account that signs into the Chromebook after power washing will be considered the new owner. So make sure you log in with the appropriate account. Let's dive in. To power wash using shortcut keys, begin by signing out of your Chromebook. Next, press and hold the following keys. Control, Alt, Shift, and R. Then select the restart option. A box will appear and from here you can select Power Wash. Prompts will appear on screen and after completing those steps, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Google account. To Power Wash using the Chrome OS settings menu while signed into your Chromebook, click on the taskbar in the lower right hand corner, followed by the settings icon. From the settings pop-up window, scroll to the bottom until you see advanced. This will expand the pop-up and after scrolling further, you will see a section labeled reset settings. Select the power wash option within this category, followed by restart. Your Chromebook will reboot and will go through the prompts as mentioned in the shortcut key process. And there you have it, folks. Do you have any more questions about your Google Life journey? You can reach out to customer service at promevo.com, drop a comment below, or put your request into our Google form located conveniently in the additional info section below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for another episode as your digital Google Glossary.